name's David Bent. Uh, I'm a working artist. I was lucky, I think. I was one of those people that art found me rather than I found art. Uh, as, a, as a young boy, my first love was birds in particular. One of my first artistic outputs was, was David Bent's Book of Birds. I went to a, a, a grammar school in Dover uh, and my art teacher, Mr Carter, took a group of us one day to the National Gallery in London and it was the first time that uh, I'd ever seen large, important, historic paintings. And I remembered thinking, do you know what, I think I can do this myself. A lot of my work is, is based on geometry and the way that uh, the world that we inhabit ourselves breaks down into some very simple basic shapes. I have a, a, a niche interest in aviation and aerospace. I combine uh, the shapes and the forms of the aircraft with the shapes and the forms of the landscape. My dad was, was an aviation nutcase of his generation. He started the Dover Model Air Aeroplane Club. So of course, you know, we, we were taken as youngsters to places like the Farmer Air Show, the Biggin Hill Air Show. So I've always had the interest. Getting into art college was a major step for me. I was determined that I was going to be an artist. My first proper exhibition at the Gardner Centre at the University of Sussex. Uh, that was an important kind of stepping stone. And, you know, by far probably the most important was meeting my wife, Carol. You know, Carol's always been a massive support to me um, and, you know, provides you know, a huge amount of like, love and inspiration for me to carry on. My favourite choice of materials now, by far, is working with acrylic paint. I like to use System 3 heavy body paint. When you squeeze it out of the tube, it just looks nice and the consistency looks lovely and, and creamy. The colour ranges are extensive. I do like to sort of layer, layer the paint. You know, eventually to end up with a finished piece, you've got to put paint on paint. And the, you know, the De La Rowney acrylic paint, I find absolutely perfect for that purpose. And my own ambition is always to be, you know, fit and strong enough to, you know, keep producing and create a body of work which will stand the test of time, hopefully. Well, my advice to young artists would be for every piece of work that you do, make sure that the the next piece of work that you do is better than the piece of work that you're currently working on. At the end of the day, you need to be very determined and you need to work very hard and never give up.